Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we have yet another 2024 Chevy Heavy Duty to show you. This one is a more affordable option that starts out in the low $50,000 price point, uh, which is actually not much more than the 1500 series trucks. So if you've been following along here on the channel, and you'll know this is my second video with a refreshed 2024 Chevy Heavy Duty. Make sure to check out the 3500 Dually, which I think is a very cool spec truck, uh, more affordable with the Duramax diesel. Now this particular one does have the gasoline 6.6 .6 liter V8. This is paired to a 10 speed Allison transmission for the refresh. And this particular one being the LT trim level, it does come in at a more affordable price point in the upper $50,000 price range after a few additional options. And this particular truck next to me is a double cab so it is a little bit cheaper to start out than that of the crew cab version which most people will probably opt to buy if they're looking at a 2500 but nonetheless this one still remains very affordable so let's not waste any more time take a look at what the 2024 chevy 2500 has to offer here for the upper fifty thousand dollar price point so this particular truck in front of us is finished in the Summit white exterior with the jet black cloth interior. If you do want leather on the LT, that is available as part of a separate option package, but does come standard on the LTZ and higher. Here in the front end, you can see this is the revised 2024 heavy duty refresh front end. Uh, it does look very aggressive, gives it modest updates as a whole with a slightly new bumper design, new headlight, new grill design, and new hood scoop design as well. The LT and lower come standard with halogen reflector headlights, both low and high beam. Incandescent turn signals on the upper section right there with the nice chrome strip that runs across the grill. Does have the standard gold bow tie. Black is available as an accessory or part of additional appearance packages. Like I said, the bumper is tweaked as far as the design goes, but does have chrome front and rear bumpers on the LT. This particular truck does have the LED fog lights as part of the convenience package black tow hooks and a little bit of an air dam uh, for better aerodynamics down below. The hood scoop is tweaked as well. This is not going to be functional on the gas versions, unfortunately, as it is blocked off. Chevrolet here on the outside as part of the chrome ring. 6.6 .6 liter V8 Allison transmission badge. Like I said, for 2024, the Allison paired to the gas is going to be all new. So I'll be interested to see how that drives comparison to the uh, old six speed that was offered. Here on the outside, you can see the black fender arch flares. I don't believe paint match versions are available on the Chevy heavy duty lineups like they are on the GMC. So you might have to go over to that brand to get that feature if you would like that. But anyways, coming to the wheels and tires, these are gonna be the 18 inch standard silver painted aluminum wheels here on the LT. They're wrapped in LT 275 70 18 inch Michelin LTX AT2 all-terrain tires. So I think this is more of a heavy duty all-terrain all season tire, but nonetheless does have some off-road capability as well. Coming to the mirrors, these are gonna be the standard black plastic mirrors with your LED turn signal integration on the outside. Auto dimming upper section, LED auxiliary lighting, convex lowers does have LED puddle lights, no cameras because this truck obviously doesn't have any uh, 360 camera system or anything like that. 2500 HD badge in the chrome. Proximity entry on both front door handles. They are gonna be body color door handles. And stepping back here to the side, you can see just how large this truck is. It is the double cab, so it's not the full crew cab, but it does have the smaller rear doors with the smaller rear seat um, and the standard bed configuration as well. But nonetheless, still a very large and very capable truck. Here on the bedside, you can see the bedside step, which all heavy duties in this current generation have had for the last few years. There's a look at the rear wheel setup. Of course, this is a leaf spring setup. There's your bump stop and shock absorber. Now coming to the back, this does have the four x four sticker on the bedside, chrome rear bumper, like I mentioned with the integrated side step. No rear parking sensors or anything like that on this truck. The Chevrolet is going to be stamped into the tailgate electronic release with your backup camera and the exterior perimeter lighting. This does not have LED rear taillights, unfortunately, so they are gonna be incandescent. As far as the trailer wiring goes, just a standard four pin and seven pin connection with the two and a half inch heavy duty receiver. So uh, pretty standard stuff as far as the towing goes, but this truck is extremely capable even in the gasoline powered version. So let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker really quick, see exactly how this particular truck is equipped and then we'll dive onto the interior. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is gonna be a very affordable truck given it is the LT gasoline four wheel drive has the convenience package, the trailering mirrors, the remote start, heat package, 18 inch machine aluminum wheels with the all-terrain tires. So I guess the wheel and tire setup is not going to be the standard one found on the LT. 
has the optional skid plates as well as the rear wheelhouse liners, which brings the total MSRP to $57,550, including destinations. So just about $3,500 worth of additional options on this particular truck, and it still remains in the upper $50,000 price range. We'll go ahead and take a look at the rear wheelhouse liners. That is a great option. I would highly recommend it if you plan to take this off-road as it keeps a lot of the mud and debris out from behind them. Uh, but that is something you can consider when getting these trucks. And once again, these are the optional wheels with the all-terrain tires. So taking a look on the interior, this is going to be the standard jet black cloth interior. And this one being an LT does have the updated door panels and dash design, which I'm very excited to show you guys. Starting out here on the door panel, you can see the upper section is going to be all soft touch. So soft touch uppers, black accent stitching with your padded armrest. Power windows, mirrors, and locks with automatic driver window. And part of the optional mirrors is going to be the power folding function, which is very nice to have in my opinion. Uh, these do have the manual extension, so you just simply push the mirrors outward and they will manually extend, but power folding is extremely nice. There's your standard speaker grill design with a little bit of additional storage in the door pocket. Coming to the driver's seat, this does have a power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar. There's your gray black accent stitching on the seats. And immediately you can see we're greeted to the fully digital cluster as well as the new updated infotainment system. And if you come from a 1500 series truck or have watched some of my videos in the past, then this is going to be very familiar stuff. So this is a 12.3 inch fully digital, fully configurable display here in the center. This does have a few updates over that of some of the other trucks I've seen, uh, namely the 1500 series, including the seatbelt indicator here in the top left-hand portion. But nonetheless, outside of that, it's going to be very similar to that truck. Now you can control it here on the right side of the steering wheel. So it provides your digital speed readout, tax speedometer on the left and right side, fuel economy, uh, trip information, your range as far as the fuel estimate, uh, your fuel level as well as your coolant temp and you can configure this into more advanced displays to show more information if you would like uh, so i will have a separate dedicated video here on the channel covering just that uh, here shortly so keep an eye out if you're interested in that leather wrapped steering wheel it does have the heated steering wheel option as part of the heat package standard cruise control it does have automatic emergency braking with your gap adjustment right there like i mentioned the voice command and audio controls here on the left on the right side uh, paddles on the back to control the multimedia and infotainment volume and tune. Column shift is going to be standard. It does have the plus and minus for the manual gear selection on the side. Regular wipers, it does have automatic high beam assist as part of the standard Chevy safety suite for 2024. So a nice upgrade there. To the left of the steering wheel, electronic parking brake. Four wheel drive it does have two high, four high, and four low. Drive mode via this knob as well as your dedicated tow haul mode via that button. So it has off-road and normal drive modes. To the right, it does have automatic headlights, like I mentioned, with your LED fog lights, exterior perimeter lighting buttons, your bed lighting, as well as your gauge illumination. Gloss black trim around the edges of the vents with a little bit of chrome accents. Nice soft touch dashboard, which like I said, is a huge upgrade over the uh, pre-refresh models. It does have your LED indicator that projects onto the windshield for some of the safety assist functions um, and your collision warning and stuff like that. A little bit of additional storage pocket above the screen, but coming to the infotainment, this is the same 13.4 inch HD color touchscreen with built in uh, Google integration, wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, XM, AM, FM, USB, Bluetooth, all the inputs you would expect on a new vehicle. Um, and the Google integration is very nice if you don't want to use the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, um, as it does allow full Google Maps usage, Google Assistant. You can sign into your Google account and download some of the additional Play Store um, apps that are available to go on your car's infotainment. Huge upgrade over that of the seven and eight inch systems formerly found in these trucks. It does have some manual controls, um, home button, as well as your volume and power button. Lane keeping assist, release the tailgate, hazard button, traction control off, and you can roll all four windows down via that button on the end. Dual zone automatic climate control with heated front seats. Heated seats are part of that heat package. Trailer brake controller to the left of that, as well as your engine stop start. USB-A and USB-C integration on the far right side. This is the bench seat configuration, so six passenger. I uh, can fold the center armrest up. However, a center console is available. Proximity key fob does have remote start, tailgate release, and this is the newer design that Chevrolet has been using uh, the last few years on select vehicles. Nicely padded center armrest, storage inside, 
storage down below as well. If you lift up this, that is going to be lockable uh, via a little lock down here. So good secured storage if you need that. Coming to the headliner, it does have a darker gray headliner, although it's not black at all. Here's your vanity illumination. Here's your microphone. Auto dimming into your rear view mirror so that matches all three uh, mirrors are gonna be auto dimming. OnStar, LED overhead illumination and your passenger airbag status. This particular truck does not have a power rear sliding window, uh, but it is going to be a defrosted window, so that is at least nice for that. Coming to the back seat, this one being a double cab does mean it has the smaller rear seat, but all of the materials on the door panel are going to follow through as far as the padded armrest and the padded upper section. Reduced storage just being a smaller door in general, but this is still plentiful uh, given the size of the door panel itself. Cloth seating surfaces. I think some people out there have said that the seat bottom in the double cab is a little bit shorter than that of the standard crew cab seat. I will have to pull out a tape measure and measure that at some point, but it does look maybe just a hair smaller, but nonetheless, uh, still very usable here in the back seat. No storage here in the back, no center armrest either on this particular truck. We'll go ahead and step inside. The step in height is a little bit different, especially being a smaller back seat, but there's a look at the front dashboard. Out back, you still get a lot of nice amenities in this truck being LT, so rear AC vents, USB charge ports, as well as your 120 volt wall outlet uh, that is limited to 400 watts. And this seat is a little bit further back, I believe, than my rough driving position, but my knees are pressing up against the seat. It does have mat pockets on either side, overhead LED illumination, and there is gonna be a ton of additional head space and headroom in this truck. But like I said, does not have the power rear sliding window that is going to be available. So if you're looking for a truck that may not need the rear seat used every day or on a daily basis, then the double cab might be a nice option uh, because the seats do fold up and allow you for additional space uh, for flat storage there on the floor. Uh, but obviously a lot more people will opt for the crew cab uh, just because they do want the extra rear space and uh, maybe need to use them on a more frequent basis. Take a look at the bed on this truck. Like I said, it does have the power release with the soft open, easy lift section. This one does not have the bed liner option, but that is going to be available both a drop-in as well as a spray-in. Doesn't have the gooseneck or fifth wheel option either, so a pretty standard bed. The LT does come with the 120 volt power outlet and the LED bed lighting. Uh, that is part of the convenience package, which I think is a nice package to have. Wrapping up here on the passenger front seat, Basically gonna be the same as the driver's side as far as the door panel goes. Manual four-way seat, so no height adjustment. There's your padded dashboard. It still has the upper storage section, so dual level glove box. Great for additional storage space inside of the cabin. Uh, but yeah, that's a look at the refresh interior on this 2500 LT. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood, see what powers this particular truck, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Under the hood of this particular truck, you'll find the 6.6 .6 liter gas, naturally aspirated V8. This puts out 401 horsepower, 464 pound-feet of torque through the rear wheels or off four wheels if you put it in four-wheel drive. Like I said, this is paired to the new Allison 10-speed torque-converted automatic transmission for 2024. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how people like the 10 speed over that of the former six speed. Uh, the more gear ratio should make towing and hauling stuff a little bit easier with the gasoline powered engine. It might be good for those people that don't need the full Duramax towing and hauling capabilities, uh, but still need maybe a three quarter ton pickup over that of the 1500 series trucks. So that's gonna do it for this video on the 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD in the more affordable spec. Like I said, this particular truck, the LT gas four wheel drive, even in the crew cab configuration, comes into roughly a couple hundred dollars more than that of the LT 1500 series trucks with the base 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder. So if you guys wanna see a video comparison of maybe a 1500 series truck in an LT trim equipped very similar to that of a 2500 LT, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll see if I can make that happen. But I do find it interesting how closely priced the two different trucks are. Uh, they might have two different buyers, but one might be swayed to get a 2500 in a gas truck versus that of a 1500. Uh, just in case they might fit in a situation where they are maxing out or close to maxing out the payload or towing capabilities of a 1500, which may make the 2500 more appealing uh, just because they aren't too much more expensive, uh, again, if you stick with the gas truck. 
And here for the 2024 model year with the refresh, you're gonna get the new updated technology, both as far as the safety systems, uh, the infotainment, the gauge cluster, and some of the other nicer amenities. So overall, it just makes it a nicer truck uh, here, even in the mid trim levels and higher. You do have to get an LT trim in the 2500 or higher, just like that of the 1500 trucks to get the uh, infotainment like seen here in this one. Uh, but overall, I think the LT is definitely gonna be a good choice for many people out there that wanna keep the budget under control. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found something helpful, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel in these videos. Subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed and make sure to check out some other videos I have here on the channel. Not only the 2024 heavy duties from both Chevy and GMC, uh, but also a bunch of other new car content as well. I definitely appreciate the support and hopefully you guys find something interesting as part of these videos. So with all that being said, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the value proposition as far as the 2500 goes here in this specific LT trim, maybe even versus that of the 1500 series trucks. Would you get one over the other if the price point is within just a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars? Or would you stick to uh, maybe a 1500 series truck just for the overall smaller compact size? You don't need all of the capability of a 2500 or just like the way the 1500 drives a little bit better. Let me know that down in the comment section below. Definitely curious to hear your thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as always and hope to see you guys in the next one.